Uh, Ms. Vidyanska, uh, UNIFES got three new members, Canada, South Korea and Hungary. Uh, what do you think these countries will bring to UNIF? Uh, yes, uh, to, as you have rightly pointed out, we have three new members and uh, these three countries have cooperated with UNIF for already some time and we are very glad that they have confirmed their commitment towards UNIF also in this official way by becoming our members. And uh, we are certain that they will bring some uh, experienced players, uh, some professional players, such especially from Hungary. We know that there is a long footnet tradition, but also we hope that these countries will bring new possibilities for footnet growth outside Europe, which is very important for us. So hopefully in Asia and in the American continent as well. Uh, which problems does, have, uh, uh, does UNIF have to deal with at the moment? One of the biggest continuous challenges is to um, get more people involved in uh, our management structures. Uh, that means to have uh, more uh, people who will be committed uh, and uh, willing to invest their time and their efforts into uh, promoting UNIF not only in their clubs or maybe in their countries but also on an international level. Uh, one important change uh, in the last days, uh, UNIF seat will be moved from France to Czech Republic uh, this year. Uh, why did you decide for this step? Yes, we have decided to take this step obviously after uh, consulting all our members uh, because uh, historically Czech Republic is, uh, has the longest tradition in Footnet and it also offers uh, most uh, stability in terms of a uh, Footnet environment. It offers uh, also uh, most uh, people for uh, footnet, uh, footnet management structures. And also, uh, last but not least, uh, uh, Footnet here uh, is um, recognized uh, by the national authorities, uh, including the National Olympic Committee. Uh, and my last question, uh, what about new countries? Uh, we have heard news of contacts with India, Serbia, Romania, and others. Uh, can you tell us uh, some details about the potential growth of UNIF? Yes, we uh, establish new contacts and also we regularly maintain our old contacts with the countries who are interested in UNIF membership but perhaps haven't reached yet uh, the level of uh, becoming members. Uh, these countries that you have mentioned, for example, India, they were interested in coming to UNIF Congress, but unfortunately for us at the same time, there are uh, general uh, elections in, in India, so uh, it wasn't possible for them to come. Serbia, again, also showed interest, uh, uh, and uh, according to their information, they have set up a Serbian Footnet Association and will try to become UNIF members as soon as possible. As you could see at UNIF Congress, we had two observer countries, our old friends from Romania, uh, who are also trying for a Footnet membership. Hopefully we will see them very soon in our Footnet family. And uh, we had also observers from Latvia, uh, where there are plans uh, to, to develop uh, and promote Footnet. So hopefully, some of these countries will soon become UNIF members and obviously there are also more contacts but uh, this work takes time so we have to be patient. Uh, thanks for your time and thanks for your answers. Thanks to you.